Here are 15 easy things that any guy, especially Asian men, can do to look better immediately, as in today. You're gonna wanna share this video. Number one, Andrew, we gotta lead off with something obvious, but of course we got our own special twist on it. People got to get haircuts on a regular basis. Now, I don't care if you get cheap ones, middle tier ones, expensive ones. Andrew, what is our pro tip hack? Because a lot of people, they know this because their parents told them it, but they don't do it. Here's my pro tip. Please pay for one expensive haircut, $50, $60. You go to the pro barber, you're gonna get the consultation. They're gonna go over your head shape. They're gonna even suggest a new hairstyle. They might even style your hair afterwards. Please take that knowledge that you got from that professional okay, and the pictures that you got from it, and then take it to your $12 or $14 haircut spot if you want. It'll save you money, and you'll still get a similar haircut. Might not be exactly the same, but it'll be close. Yo, Andrew, I love this hack because a lot of people, they, on their birthday, go get the $70 haircut, and then they feel like it's too expensive, so they only get their haircut cut once every two months, and that doesn't look good, or they go straight away to the cheap $8 Chinatown spot, so they're getting, you know, whatever haircut that guy comes up with. This is like a hybrid approach where you get the stylish cut but the maintenance of it is cheap. Uh, can I just get a short on the sides, long on top? Okay. <clears throat> Number two, Andrew, sticking on the topic of hair, stop shampooing every day. Some people shampooing twice a day, Andrew, and they are not even getting dirty. That's like putting that pink industrial hand soap on your hands that just is like acidic and just like dries your hands out like the crust of the Sahara. Just admit it, guys, you're not all pop stars, okay? You don't all have 10 pounds of product in your hair. So if you don't have a lot of product in your hair, you don't always have to shampoo. Just use conditioner or get one of those little rubber uh, exfoliator massager things and just do a water wash that's my pro tip i believe andrew you said that most asian hair falls between 1b and 1c on the oily scale so it is like fairly oily already so you don't want to strip it of its oil people think like the hair having oil is bad but you need the oil for it to be healthy you don't want dry hair that's the point. Number three, Andrew, this one is theoretically obvious as well, right? It's exercise. You got to get up and move. However, Andrew, a lot of people do not fully understand how much exercise does for you or why it releases endorphins and makes you feel good. Here's my pro tip, guys. Make exercising fun. You either join some type of team, join a class, or if you're by yourself, just turn on YouTube videos that you're going to sit around and watch by yourself anyways, and then use them while you work out. That's Ooh. what I do. I got my AirPods in, and I'm listening to all my favorite YouTube channels. Oh, guess what? You wanted to watch this two-hour podcast? You could be on the elliptical. The elliptical is, you know, fairly burns a lot of calories for how easy it is. Yoga and stretching are underrated. Don't Ooh. be afraid, guys. Point number four, Andrew, and you're only going to hear this on the Fun Bros channel. I'm serious, and I'm a big proponent of this. If you are an Asian guy, you should use Asian products because your skin is Asian, and guess what? They're designed for Asian skin, and guess what? The products are a lot more delicate. They come in cool flavors like white lotus, ginseng, rice extract, green mm. tea, a lot of flavors that Western companies don't really stock. Andrew, here's my pro tip. At Asian supermarkets, whether we're talking about like H Mart, 99 Ranch, Mitsua, they do have Asian products that are in the low to mid end. And I would still recommend those over American products. Not everybody got to get platinum Shiseido because you are not a J pop or K pop celebrity, but you could go with that. And if you want to make it super easy, there are a lot of Japanese products available on Amazon. Point number five, Andrew, I think this one goes without saying, but we're about to break it down on a level that you don't really hear. Your diet is important, Andrew. One thing that I learned, Andrew, is macro and micro. It's not just about perspective, Andrew. We're talking about nutrients as well. Your macronutrients, there's seven of them, protein, fat, fiber, carbohydrates, whatever. Andrew, your micronutrients, those are your vitamins. I notice a lot of channels, they try to sell you vitamins, guys. But guess what? Your macronutrients, what you're putting in on a macro level every meal is really important as well. Hey guys, here's another pro tip. Skip breakfast. You don't have to eat breakfast most of the time, man. It's called intermittent fasting. It helps. I've been doing it. I feel good. And for me, you know, Andrew, I'm a little bit of a bigger guy. I cannot skip breakfast. I would say just get a banana, a granola bar, and a cold brew and get to work. Point number six, Andrew. Buy clothes that fit. For me, my pro tip is buy athleisure. Now, I'm not saying athleisure is like the best style in the world, right? Obviously, we know that style and like functionality, sometimes they're kind of separated. But I like it for your basic guy, Andrew, because you got the office, gym, and dates. 
like going out clothes all in one bucket, even though it's like kind of more expensive because it's like technical fabrics. Also, don't be afraid to buy multiples of the same clothing if it really does fit your style, guys. Being stylish is very hard. I'm not even gonna say I'm the most stylish person, but trust me, just if you find a good shirt, you can buy multiples of it. That's yeah. okay. Yeah, I like people creating like a good style default baseline floor and then building off that. Point number seven, Andrew, this kind of goes back to like using Asian products, but you got to take care of your skin and you got to use little things that like didn't exist five years ago. For example, Andrew, you know, those Korean pimple patches, like Ooh. that's just like a, a, a hack that a lot of guys don't know about that you should have. Also, this kind of goes back to going to getting a high-end professional haircut. Please, just once or twice in your life, get an extraction for your face. Go to the actual spa, spend a little bit of money and learn about your face and know what it feels like. And then you can take that knowledge and use it on yourself. Dude, imagine if you're watching this video right now or you send this to your friend and they go get a haircut and a facial extraction right now. <laughs> it could change their life. They will not be the same person. Point number eight, Andrew, this is something that uh, your mom may or may not have told you you have to fix your posture. And there's so many reasons your posture could be messed up, whether it's bad coaching, bad habits, or you got some muscle issues, or you got some bone issues, but there are so many different solutions to fix each individual problem once you identify what it is. Here's a pro tip, buy a $10 back roller, okay? It'll stretch your back. Also look on YouTube, there's a whole bunch of different stretches you can do. You can even take the time to go to a professional, set up that appointment right now. But also guys, just having good posture just makes you look taller, more confident and stronger. So there, just do it. There is even a device like Posture 360, Andrew, where you wear it on a shirt and it can analyze your posture all day long. Point number nine, Andrew, this is something you do not see on a lot of lists. And I think this is something that a lot of guys do not even think about. It doesn't even cross our minds. This is a unique piece of advice. You got to lower your heart rate. Woosa. Guys, lowering your heart rate actually makes you feel a lot more relaxed and confident. Guys who are very jittery and like jumpy, it's like not really cool and people can kind of tell. So people can kind of read that, guys. Body language says a lot about you. So the pro tip is stretch out, get a breath of fresh air, just calm down, do some breathing techniques. Maybe if you need to, you know, you get a little CBD, whatever can help you relax your nerves. Those are the pro tips. Just figure it out. Yeah, I think everybody has different stressor signals or like, you know, symptoms or like things that cause stress in their life. So, you know, when they're under duress, that's when they get real jittery and neurotic. You got to identify it so you can have an individual solution for what is increasing your heart rate. Number 10, Andrew, this is something I've personally struggled with, having dry eyes and breathing properly. Now, I think a lot of people, they're going, oh, you know, I can breathe at a six out of 10. I can see with dry eyes at a seven out of 10 level. Guess what, guys? You don't got to live with six out of 10 or seven out of 10. If you go to see a doctor, sometimes they can improve it to eight, nine, 10 out of 10 on both the breathing and the dry eyes. Well, are you saying, bro, that I don't have to wake up with crusty eyes every day for the next 50 years? Yeah, Ugh. there are USB dry eye masks. There's all type of pump punctal plugs for your like, uh, you know, eye drainage system. Just look into it. Every situation is different. You got to figure it out on your own, but we're just telling you to think about it. Point number 11, Andrew, this one often overlooked or goes unsaid. Guys, you might want to look into powdering your balls. I mean, if you're up all day, you're out all day, it's getting sweaty, it's getting chafy down there, especially if you're a thick boy, you know, Cal Lowry, Baron Davis, Jameer Nelson, me, Hey, there's a lot of brands on Amazon, a lot of brands at your local drugstore. Just figure it out. Yeah, a you lot of it. people, they'll like try to powder their balls one time and they'll be like, ah, I didn't like it. Maybe it was just the brand you're using, man. Guys, Trust you me. do not have to waddle the rest of your life. Come on now, figure it out. Point number 12, Andrew, as a guy, you have to stop drinking full sugar anything. Like when it comes to a full sugar drink, I don't care if it's an energy drink, it's a soda, a juice. You just don't want the sugar. You don't need the sugar. Also, side note, you got to save those calories for the tequila when you're going out. No, I'm just kidding. But honestly, you got to identify the forms of energy that are best fit for you. I know some people, coffee makes them crazy or energy drinks make them crazy. So maybe you're a tea guy. Whatever it is, you got to figure it out because you need energy to stay productive. Here's my pro tip. I like caffeinated sparkling water. This is like a new product. I want to say that popped up the last one or two years. Caffeinated sparkling water. This is my pro tip. Wow, mostly sparkling water with a little punch of caffeine. Boom. Point number 13, Andrew. This one's kind of like common sense, but honestly, a lot of guys don't do it, Andrew. Have a tongue scraper and use mouthwash. I mean, 
everybody's heard it at some point in their life, but a lot of guys, surprisingly, they don't do it. Guys, there's a ton of affordable tongue scrapers that are reusable, they're washable, they're durable, of course. And then also, here's my pro tip as far as mouthwash. Make it easy for yourself. Get the mouthwash that has the built-in dosage cup. I use ACT, and you just squeeze it, and you can... Uh, you know, take it like a shot down and you just do it before you leave the house every day. It's super easy. When you make things stupidly easy for yourself, even when you are feeling really lazy, you will end up doing it because it's just so convenient. Number 14, Andrew, we've got a controversial one. If you need it, buy lifts for your shoes to get yourself an extra one to two to three inches of height. Hey, if you're tired of being a short king and you don't want to be the shortest king, this is for you. Guys, I don't think there's anything wrong with giving yourself an extra two, three inches, right? You're not lying to people about your personality. You're not being a different person. You're just visually giving yourself a little bit of a boost. If you feel like wearing lifts is way too corny, just get Air Force Ones, some sort of boot with like a thick midsole. Basically, already gives you the extra height. Put an additional insole in there. You might need to go a half size up. Boom, two inches and you didn't buy lifts. Number 15, Andrew, last but not least, watch stand-up comedy, especially from comedians that you relate to. And don't just watch their Netflix specials, watch their B-side sets, their crowd work. And I just never heard this on any other men's improvement list, even though there's like 15,000 of them out on YouTube. And I just think overall, it just make you a more chill, well-rounded person. Yeah, guys, I would say even for myself that there's a lot of comedic bits that I've brought up in conversation being like, hey, like, uh, yo, I, this comedian once said this. What do you think about that? Already, right off the bat, you're a more interesting person. Also, a lot of comedians, let's be honest, they're kind of like labeled as beta guys, but if they're famous, they figured it out. So if you watch their Netflix special, you'll kind of see how a nerdy analytical guy dresses like, and that can also even be somewhat of a role model for you, to be honest. So I don't know, guys. I think comedy really helps. We find it interesting. My camera just shut off. By the way, I ran out of batteries. Can you put it on me? My final pro tip is to make sure you type in like your favorite comedian's greatest hits. I mean, that way you don't have to sit through a whole special. Like if you only like it when they talk about this topic, but you don't like it when they talk about that topic. Sometimes you can find even very specific like topic reels based off a comedian. All right, you guys, that is it for our list of 15 things that any guy, especially Asian men, can do today to be more attractive, improve their life. Some of these were micro things. Some of these were a little bit larger, bigger commitments. But let us know what you think in the comment section below. By the way, we are not saying we're the perfect guys. I still struggle to, you know, wake up early and go lift or whatever. But at the end of the day, I know they're going to be helpful to you. So share this list, like, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. Peace.